Alrighty, welcome back to another Arkansas Media Group video. Uh, I don't know if you notice any picture quality difference as I'm shooting on my new camera, my Lumix G100, which I just uploaded a video about um, here recently. So for this video, we're going to go over my other film equipment, including all of my film stuff. Um, I have a whole shelf full of film, books, film cameras, and other vintage uh, photo equipment. So uh, yeah, without further ado, uh, let's get into that and we'll take a look. All right, so we're just going to dive into my shelf here. I got my, you know, fireplace going and all. Um, so starting at the top of the shelf, we've got uh, two IMAX, uh, my Nikon D2H that I haven't used it forever, and just like a ruler thing. It's one of those foldable ones a long time ago. Uh, <clears throat> first shelf for more frequently used. So this is a flash. That was the Minolta 2800 speed light, and then I have two uh, Minolta 7000s, uh, and I use both of these. I use this one the most. This one's in the best condition, and it's got the strap. So I use this one the most. Um, kind of leave the batteries out of it because it, there's no such thing as off. They're always, always on. Um, and then we have my Rolleiflex, which I'm in the process of kind of restoring and refurbishing, but. Um, but it functions and you know the top goes up and everything and it's a, I don't know how well, but yeah it's a waist level viewfinder. So, but it works as it should. Um, like I'm just working on like getting rid of all of this stuff here and stuff like that so. But it does work and I've shot with it before. It takes 120. Um, modified 120 but it does shoot it this is a pinhole camera essentially no settings you just turn the dial and then you just click that roll your film and then we just have some books here um, coming down we've got uh, one of my Polaroid one steps that's in very good condition I still have the box for this and then this is my first film camera it's a Canon F1 um, I really, really, really am glad I started film on this because this is probably the hardest camera I've ever shot with. This is uh, upside down for starters. But this is uh, like the Kodak, the, everyone just calls it the handle. Uh, and the thing with these was these came out and Kodak kind of, you know, bit Polaroid's rhyme with the uh, instant film thing. So, I believe Polaroid sued Kodak, and that was the end of Kodak's instant film cameras. You can't even buy film for that thing anymore, except like used expired cartridges. So, moving on, we have another Polaroid camera, or a pinhole camera, my bad. Uh, this one's even more basic. You just click that little dude down, and you can hear the shutter actuating in there. So, uh, Polaroid Sun 600. This is uh, one of my favorite instant film cameras, especially for how good a condition it's in. Please ignore the noise outside. I live in downtown, so it's, you know, I hear noise all the time. But, but yeah, this is one of my favorite film cameras right here. Um, I use this one as well. Easy to get film for, and the battery is integrated into the, um, the, uh, the film pack. Same with these. So. Coming down here, we have lenses for this guy. Uh, I think that's a Nikon lens, actually. But those are for this one. I don't know if I move these aside. This is a Brownie Hawkeye, which I can bring this down here. But this is still original in its box. Let's see if I can't get this box open for y'all real quick. So you can see it's missing some stuff, not everything's here, but we have the Brownie Hawkeye here. Uh, the flash that goes on the side, that's a battery, I think, rolling around in here. I think it's an old, old battery, but... Yeah, that's a super old battery. If it'll even. Leak proof, which explains why it's last all this time. Uh, and then we have 
uh, four flash bulbs that haven't been used. But, but yeah, that's the <clears throat> one of the best condition film cameras I have as well is this guy. We'll put that on the shelf. And then it's back over here. The best condition one I have is my Polaroid 210 land camera, which is in this case here. Um, and I'll I'll open this one maybe later. But this one I got from my mother. As you can see, it's this is kind of what it looks like here on the back of the pamphlet, and it's the Polaroid 210 land camera. Automatic too. It's got all the steps on the back on how to operate it, so. And then down there, that's just a wheel in my camera bag. But yeah, that's the film shelf in its entirety. Um, I have a whole bunch of other film cameras, but they're just uh, not accessible or they're still packed away in boxes, so. Alrighty, that is the end of that video. Um, that's all the film stuff I have right now that is out and available and not packed away in a box somewhere. So I will see if I can't find more of my stuff to kind of to post on here. But let me know if you guys like the new, you know, camera setup I've got going here with the new microphone and the new uh, camera as well. So I'll upload these as soon as possible so y'all stick around for the next one.